Hi everyone and uh, here we are again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Easy Access. Well, it is the application I've been working on lately. I already recorded a video about Easy Access, but it was for uh, the older version of this uh, application. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, latest version, version 2.0 and uh, well, we are going to see what e Easy Access really is and how to use it. So, um, what is Easy Access? Well, I've built this application uh, as a free alternative for Microsoft Access. So, if you need some tool that can uh, create or view or edit Microsoft Access databases, then you can surely use Microsoft uh, Easy Access, right? So, uh, how to use it? Well, uh, I'll demonstrate a few features here. I'll create a new database. And uh, well, I can choose do I want to use Microsoft Access 2003 format or Microsoft Access 2007 format. If you're going to use this uh, format, then you need to install uh, Microsoft uh, Access 2007 runtime and then you'll have support for this type of databases. Bar. But for this uh, example, I will just create a Access uh, 2003 format file. Save. And once my database is created, now I can uh, continue creating tables. So I uh, create first table, table one. And once I create a table, I get a design view. As you can see, I already have ID as auto number and it is a primary key, but I can also add some other fields as well. For, for example, my integer field which is a long integer. Okay, I can also add, for example, uh, my memo field, which is memo. And I'll add uh, my OLE field as OLE object. Okay, so uh, I can also double click any of these uh, fields and change their name, type, size, or uh, this property. Okay, and uh, well, in this case, ID is declared as a primary key, but I can also hold control and uh, select multiple fields. For example, I'll select these two and uh, click here primary key. Now I have a, a combination of two fields as my primary key. Okay, but I'll leave it uh, as ID. Okay, uh, so this is the design view where I actually create my uh, database uh, table. I can also use right click and choose design. I will get this or I can use open. So when I use open, I get this uh, records view. So this records view uh, actually shows me uh, the real data in my uh, table. So my int, I will input some value here, 10 because it requires integer uh, memo field. When I try to input something in a memo field, I automatically get this uh, multi-line editor. Okay, so uh, I can input multi-line text inside. And I'm going to accept this. I'm going to add something else, for example, 15, this. And uh, I can also use this, uh, my all a field. Uh, well, it is interesting because when I click here, I get this button. And when I click a button, it allows me to choose a file which I want to store in my all field. For example, I use this uh, JPEG. Okay, and now this JPEG is uh, here in this all field. Oh. And when I use this all as picture, it will automatically recognize a picture in this column and I can use it to show the content of that uh, field. Okay, so I can see the picture here. As you can see, these are nice features uh, that you normally don't have in Microsoft Access, uh, but well, you can use them here. Also, you have some standard features like uh, search or filter data. You can uh, combine filters. For example, I want only records that contain here two and uh, only 15 here and so on. Uh, so these are like, like I said, standard features. Uh, I can use stretch to stretch fields. Uh, well, I can export the table to various type of, of files uh, and so on. I think uh, there is, a, 
I think this is very clear and uh, there are no complications in this uh, window. Okay, uh, so that is how we create a table, how we edit fields and how we enter and uh, review the data inside the tables. Well, let's, uh, let's create another table. I'm going to table two and I'm just gonna add a field here that will be ID of the table one and it's going to be log integer okay so I have two tables here and uh, I'm going to show you a new feature that hasn't been present in the previous easy access and that is the relationships now you are able to read uh, relationships from existing Microsoft Access databases or create new ones or edit existing ones. So I click here, create relationship and I choose from table one ID. To, uh, I'm going to relate that to table two ID table one. And I can use here uh, referential integrity. Do I want to cascade update, delete and so on. Well, okay. And once I do that, I have uh, well, graphical representation of relationships. It's not like in the Microsoft Access, but I think it will suffice, right? Uh, so you can he, uh, you can see here how does it looks like, and uh, well, I can double click here and see uh, the current value of the relationship. I can even modify it, or I can even say I don't want to use this referential integrity. Okay, and now there is no error here you see there is no error this means that uh, this is a one-to-one -one relationship and this is one to many I could also uh, create some other table and uh, uh, do another relationship uh, and so on so this relationship is automatically saved inside database and when you open your uh, uh, file in for example uh, Microsoft Access you will see this relationship uh, and like I said, it's, it really works and uh, I hope uh, that it is, well, I, I did it as much user friendly as I could. Okay, also you can click here and uh, press the delete button. You will automatically be able to delete the relationship. Okay, uh, that is uh, said about relationships. Also, you can use queries. For example, I'm going to create a new query execute and here is my result uh, I can save that query inside the database for example query one okay and now it is saved directly in this database uh, if I close this reopen and here it is uh, also you can uh, well rename table delete table uh, also for uh, query you can do the same thing you can also compact and repair your database uh, set or unset password and so on I believe this application has everything you need in order to uh, well create a database to view uh, the records modify it well guys that's about it regarding easy access I think uh, that this application really has some potential uh, to be a fairly decent uh, alternative for Microsoft Access and I'm really looking forward to your comments to see what do you think about this uh, are you planning to use it or do you uh, well already use uh, this application do you have any suggestions what new I might add here and so on well guys uh, that's about it thank you for watching and uh, I hope to hear from you soon goodbye